Meg, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be working in this tiny little journal. So here's some of the pages that I have made previously. And today we're going to be working on this page here. So I grabbed out this like biscuit jar turned scrap paper jar that I am just picking some random uh, bits of papers out of. I've been kind of tearing up uh, some scraps from other things I've been working on and adding to this but it's a really great way to just pull out like a random assortment of things and kind of remove that uh, decision making of like what am I going to start with because you get um, just a range of different materials to begin with so I got like vellum, I got tissue paper, brown paper, there's some book papers there and so I'm just collaging a bit of a background and this actually I don't think you can see most of it by the end of this uh, journal process but um, I really love to see little hints of things poking through and it's almost part of the process of creating pages like this is seeing how they all uh, lay together so I'm just adding these um, as background elements so I'm not bothered too much if most of them do get covered up um, it's just to get started and there was already um, some bits on the page already that I could respond to which was great so there was already some uh, like sewing paper as well um, so I didn't want to cover up where you've got that um, like number someone's written like 165 I think it is um, I actually quite liked that so I didn't want to cover that up too much so I'm kind of working around that um, using this little scrap of book paper here in the middle to kind of bridge between the two pages and help to bring them together into one layout. Um, I'm starting as well with a lot of neutrals um, as a bit of a base. I mean it's a colour scheme that I like anyway but I think it works really well if you're not sure about how to get going. Starting with colours that are all uh, in the same family and that kind of go together and go with everything like you could do neutrals and pinks neutrals and greens neutrals and bright orange like it goes with everything so I think that's a really safe place to start with the foundations of your journal page is to go for those more neutral bases and then you can build and add in the bits that you like and as well when it comes to adding in bits of collage nothing's going to immediately like clash and be fighting for attention uh, it almost gives the the bits that you're then adding on top a space to to pop and to really have that focal point on the page so you'll see here i've just picked out this is actually from the cover of one of my like floral gardening books so that's why it's a little bit shiny which isn't something i would typically use uh, maybe if it was in one of my like regular size journals and it was a larger image i don't think it's something that i would necessarily be drawn towards maybe i could like put some um, matte medium or something on top of it to kind of help with that shine or some watered down like white acrylic paint um, but I think on this scale um, you can kind of get away with it it doesn't really matter that much um, but this flower is still huge compared to this journal so I'm just seeing here how I can position it on the page because I'm going to have to uh, cut it in half because it's simply just too large for the the page and it won't go across the middle because I mean first of all you just cover up the entire page anyway but then also um, it's quite thick so when the the journal folds because it's so small you've got to be quite careful about what you put in the middle because otherwise it will um, it won't fold right
this page ended up being about all the little floral details which I absolutely love. This page was really fun to work on. I think if you're looking for a like quick little project that just takes like 5-10 minutes to do a page then this is absolutely perfect or even if you just want to do some stash busting of some scraps um, then it's definitely one to try for yourself. So. As always, thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. As always, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.